All right, guys, welcome back to Hood Play 101. I am Cordell the Barber, and today I am going to review an airbrush mini kit I ordered off Amazon. 50 bucks. Didn't cost too much, one of the cheapest ones out there. So let's get started. Right now, it's a little filter. It's what you connect the whole little compressor to with the hose that goes in between. I guess it somehow filters the air that comes out of the compressor. This here is the mini air compressor itself. All right, on the top, the red button, it's the on off switch. You got the LED light. And right there, I believe it's a European country. I don't know. I mean, company. <laughs> A European company but uh, that ain't really too important so like I said the on off switch on top LED switch and on the side we got the air outlet and the adjust valve it turns it spins it adjusts the flow of the air coming out and on top you got the holder it's like a little tube that just is gonna come up on the top you'll see it a little bit later but it holds the gun in there so it doesn't rock back and forth when you're not using it and aside from reviewing it, I'm going to adjust, I mean, I'm going to put it together at the end. The, the best way I can anyway. And right there is the hose. The hose, like I said, goes in between the filter and the mini air compressor itself. And I believe it's uh, five feet. I don't know. Four. Don't really specify. But it's a one-eighth to one-eighth male air hose. And right here is the power supply. Simple adapter, like on most things. Pretty sure everybody's familiar with that. And that's the holder. The thing that I told you goes on top of the mini air compressor that goes inside. The gun goes inside and it just it just holds it. And that was a little cleaning kit to clean the inside of it out. Bam. The gun itself. And some little knickknacks that came with it, little screw, I mean a little wrench to help me take off the end of it if I need to. And inside under the gun is just a list of parts and pieces, you know, once you get in the inside of it, take it apart if you need to, need be. And a few specifications on top, like I said, 1 8 to 1 8 male air hose, 0 0.2 millimeter, 0 0.3 millimeter nozzle diameter. I mean a few things, I mean I really don't, really don't care about. Until I have to, I suppose. And then um, a little parts details, a little chart. If you like, I say you take it apart, let you keep uh, keep everything together. And here we go. This the gun, and it, the back comes off. You got the nozzle, the little switch. You gotta push it down, and air will come out. But whatever you put in it won't. You gotta pull it back for that to come out. I learned that after I put it together. Like I said, the back come off. I'm just twisting it off. I didn't feel there was a need to keep it off. I looked and uh, reviewed other people's videos on YouTube before I made my own, before I even ordered it. And I didn't really see anybody else keep theirs off now. So now I'm going to assemble it. And here we go. We got the adapter. We got everything together. And the first thing you want to put on the table, if you got yours, is a mini air compressor. Take your hose and you just screw it right inside the air air outlet. Simple. It's like screwing in a cable cord in the back of a TV, I suppose. And that's the filter that I was talking about. And I will connect that to the other end of the hose. And then I will connect the, that to the bottom of the the airbrush gun. A lot of videos that I did review, they didn't have that filter. One or two did and I looked at about 10. So if you don't have the filter, I believe it does not even, it doesn't matter. 
But then again, I believe that only matters if you got the mouth that I have. I've seen a lot with the same mouth that I have that didn't have the filter. I felt like mine was wrong, but I came across a couple that did, and that's how you do it. Now you take the gun and you just screw it right on top. And I mean, that's pretty much it. It don't get no easier than that. And the last but not least, you got the two pieces left. You got the adapter. Then you got the holder that the gun actually sits in on top. Oh yeah, don't let me forget the cap that go on the top. Everything will be spilling out. Now after you plug it up, you know, of course it uh it makes a, a, a small amount of noise. Nothing too noisy, you know, it won't drown anything else out. No conversation if you're talking. To be honest with you, you could be on the phone right next to it, it isn't that loud. But it will move. While it's vibrating, it will move side to side. So if you got it close to some edge, I suggest you move it. Or you put it somewhere where it won't move about too much. Because it will fall off a table. So there you go. That's about it. That's it. So next, like I said, we assemble it. Now we're going to test it. Hold it about five, six inches away. And you just go back and forth in slow motion. And the reason I got it is to assist me with my, my haircut. My haircut enhancement techniques. And coming up, I'll show you guys a before and after of the first person. A little kid that I actually used this technique on. So this is his left profile. and the, This is the after. Now, it's like I said, this is the first client I used it on. And I know I'm not perfect, but I will be better. I will get better. And a lot of people, they don't like hair enhancements, and they got something to say about it. And, you know, it ain't for everybody. And if you're one of them guys, them girls that, you know, you want them, you knock it before you try it, then that's fine. If you're not worrying about it, you don't want to pay for it. You don't got to, you know, just leave it to me. Leave it to the people that want to do it. And leave it to the clients that want to get it. Till then, keep your mouth shut. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out.